ask, uh, well, let's go downstairs. Here's Dina. Hey, for them. We're Thank back. you for that update. And we're back, Kat. Okay, get this. This is fascinating. Yes, we're living longer, but we are aging at a rapid rate. Why? Well, all of the toxins and all of the processed foods. Here to take us through what to do to fight stress and look younger for a lot longer is Dr. Dempster, your naturopathic doctor. I want to get right into this. So much to talk about. Absolutely. Let's begin with uh, stress levels. Uh, the, the toxins in our food, where does one begin? You say we're not getting nearly enough fruits and veg. Let's start over here because this is, this is huge. We have to talk about antioxidants right off the bat. And these are the chemicals that actually help us slow down some of the degeneration in our body. So think of a rusty nail or of an old rusty car. That is oxidation. We're trying to fight that in our body, so we don't want our body to start to rust. We want to make sure we're getting all these antioxidants uh, into our system to slow that process down. As well as berries. We always hear about the antioxidants contained in those, goji berries, which are dried, and you say go for, when you can, the organic version. That's always best. We're finding uh, through the scientific studies that they're going to have the highest concentration of antioxidants, all the vitamins and minerals, and they're also going to reduce the exposure to all these toxins that are stripping us of these antioxidants. One single thing you could do every day, get a lemon, slice it in half, squeeze it into warm water, easily absorbed into the body, and what does it do? So this is a very easy and basic uh, support that everybody can do to help get their liver going in the morning, which is your key detoxification organ. This is going to help your body removing a lot of this debris that accumulates over a life time we forget that we actually start to accumulate this and we need to get it out once in a while okay alarm clocks why you should really push that aside or cover it with a blanket the light from an alarm clock can disturb the restorative sleep that's right so Another huge aspect of optimal aging medicine or anti-aging is making sure you get enough sleep. And if you are having an alarm clock too close to where you sleep or have a TV in the room, these are disturbing your melatonin levels and uh, your serotonin levels and can actually cause you to have a poor sleep and accelerate the aging process. You say your room should look like a dark, cold cave. Correct. So yeah. even the little night lights for the kids, not a good idea. Well, for the kids it's okay right now, but uh, we definitely, as we go, we want to make sure that it's as dark as possible. And night owls, if you're going to bed, after midnight big problem you say every hour before midnight really reads like two hours to your body so of the, sleep. Correct. The current scientific studies are showing that each hour you get before midnight is helping improve your growth hormone, which is going to help us stay around and look fantastic. And it's also going to help keep our stress hormones in check, too. Speaking These are very of, important. Yes, you say to breathe. Ten breaths. Ten deep breaths three times a day can help really uh, calm your cortisol levels and keep everything nice and smooth. Okay, really good. Now let's talk about all the supplements. What do you take, what not to take? A lot of us are lacking, you say, in omega 3s. That's right. So one of the things we do at our clinic is we provide a number of uh, programs, and one of them is a customized detoxification program. And one of the tools we love are medical foods and different supplements that are going to get your liver and your intestines and all your detox organs working better. Uh, it's also very important if you're not getting your 10 servings of fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. in a day, a lot of us are deficient in key nutrients. And this is where we talk about uh, supplementation. And one of our advanced therapies is vitamin infusion therapy, which is getting very high amounts uh, for people that are very deficient in these, in these areas. That's fascinating. And you said you notice such a difference, or they do rather, with their hair, their nails, their skin. That's correct. A lot of people will come back and they're, they're very happy because we'll be treating them for completely another reason. But they come back and they're like, oh my goodness, I, I look, people are stopping me on the street. So. And it's the digestive issues which sometimes don't work with supplements. That's why you do it intravenously, right? That's right. Okay, one last thing. Get moving, guys. Exercise as well. Epsom salts. Baths. Why is that important to wind down? Okay, so once again, back to the sleep thing. We need to s set up proper sleep hygiene before we go to bed. Start the wind down process. An Epsom salt bath can really calm people down and put them into a relaxed state. No horror movies and no scary stuff with the news because it doesn't right. help you sleep. Well <laughs> done, well rounded. For more information, the DempsterClinic.com. Now we know. Over to Kim Frakers in the newsroom. Thank you. Lots of information. Thanks.